Good day, YouTube. This is Jay Money with Fallen Ford Financial. Uh, just an update here on uh, Planet 13. Uh, if you follow my channel, I've uh, covered this one numerous times. Uh, again, this is Planet 13. Ticker is uh, PLNHF. As you can see, it trades over the counter. So if you're looking to get this one, I've uh, bought it on Fidelity. Uh, didn't pay a commission there. I've also bought it on TD Ameritrade. I did pay a commission on TD. So. If you don't want to pay a commission, I would uh, suggest uh, Fidelity. You just have to try any other major, major brokerage. Uh, but again, this is uh, <clears throat> Planet 13. Here's a look at what they've done over the uh, last year. So it's pretty much doubled over the last year. I uh, bought this one, I think my cost base is eighty. I think I bought it in May or June of last year. And I've just continued to hold it. As you can see, it did uh, get up to uh, $8.19 on the 10th, along with the uh, MJ high that was on going on that day. So every MJ stock that I've covered uh, had a high on uh, February 10th. And since then, it's just been kind of up and down, kind of trading kind of sideways and uh, down a little bit. So uh, here you could have got a nice uh, dip at 480 So... Here's a look at the uh, last month. So again, kind of volatile, up to 564, down to 480 in the last week. Again, kind of up and down. So a lot of uh, the MJ plays have been this way over the uh, last couple months, week. So uh, Planet 13 announces Q2 2021 financial results, and this is dated uh, last Thursday, uh, the best day in August, or one of the best days of the year, which is uh, my birthday. August 26th, so <laughs> um, Planet 13 up a 205% compared to Q2 2020. So they had a great year, revenue of $32.8 million. So they're a uh, Las Vegas company, uh, Planet 13, a uh, leading vertically integrated MJ company. Today announced its uh, financial results for the three month and six month period, ended on June 30, 2021. Planet 13 financial statements are prepared in accordance with international financial reporting standards. So Q2 was a strong quarter for Planet 13 with uh, tourism back. The Superstore's in-store experience is once again uh, proving that it is on the uh, list of, for visit destinations for any trip to uh, Las Vegas. Every week, thousands of people sharing their experience at the store with their friends on social media and the compounding effect, f impact of the organic marketing is obvious as even after being open for three years, after seeing strong growth and increasing share of the Nevada market every month. Along with our dispensary operations, our product uh, brands are continuing to gain traction according to uh, headset data. Uh, Haha was one of the uh, number two edibles and number three beverage brand in the state and Trendy was the number three concentrate and number six vape brand. Mm -hmm. Along with a stellar performance from Nevada Operations, 2021 has been about securing our next growth opportunities. I'm proud to say we opened our Orange County location on time and on budget. We are now uh, focused on growing uh, consumer awareness uh, that will ultimately drive the sales we know are possible from the location. Uh, CEO of Planet 13 subsequent to the uh, quarter, also we also won a dispensary license from Chicago area giving us a clear path for our next superstore. So uh, that is interesting news. So Chicago are giving us a clear path to our next superstore supported by a robust m a pipeline and over 30 million dollars in cash point at 13 future is bright and maybe we'll get that stock back up to uh, eight dollars we'll just have to see so someday this one needs to uh, get up to the uh, major exchanges so i don't know when that's going to be if you have any information on that go ahead and list it in the uh, comments i haven't come across it yet um, but a company of this size and growing and as popular as this one is it's got to get up there at some point in time 
Uh, here it kind of goes over some of the uh, net loss, adjusted EBITDA, balance sheet, cash of 136 million as compared to 79 million, total assets of 226.2 as a composed compared to 150 million, total liabilities 37.6 as compared to 29.3 million. Here's some of the highlights and recent developments, and again, you can find all of this right on uh, Yahoo Finance. So I'm just going to continue to scroll through some of this information. Uh, here it kind of goes over the adjusted EBITDA. Three months ended on uh, June 30th, 2021. And if you have uh, any of Planet 13, feel free to leave your uh, cost basis in the uh, comments that would be interesting to know like I said uh, my current cost basis on this one is a dollar eighty uh, here's Q2 2021 results earnings call transcript uh, found on uh, Seeking Alpha it goes over the uh, conference call that took place on August 26th uh, here's the uh, company participants so I'm just gonna scroll through this information for those of you that would like to uh, pause it and uh, go over it We'll turn the call over to Head of Investor Relations and Mark. So again, just going to scroll through this information. Quite a bit of info in here. First couple months, $3 million a month, and now over $9 million a month, so they've tripled. So this one's a uh, long-term hold of mine. I uh, plan to keep pretty much every uh, MJ play that I have um, for at least minimum of two years probably more like five I'll probably keep some of them around for ten years as these are just gonna keep going up once we get closer to uh, legalization on a federal level and uh, once that happens the sales are just gonna continue to go and there's just new strains people are buying these products all the time so here it kind of talks a little bit more about the partnership uh, dispensary license in the city of Chicago. So we'll see what that does to the uh, stock price. There's a question and answer session. And again, there's quite a bit of information in here, so I might just uh, link the uh, article website in the description as well so planet 13 uh, revenue rises 205.2 percent to 32.8 million and q2 reveals a positive adjusted EBITDA of 7.2 million and this is just dated on uh, Friday the 27th so again uh, announced financial results Thursday for the second quarter of 2021 report in revenues of $32.8 million up 205.2% to $10.8 million in the same period of 2020. Here it kind of goes over the uh, gross profit. Net loss of $4.4 million as compared to a net loss of $4 million. $7.2 million as compared to a loss of $0.6 million. So Q2 was a strong quarter for Planet 13 with tourism back and the Superstore's in-store experience is once again uh, proving that it is a list of must-visit destinations for any trip to Vegas. So if you've been to Vegas uh, lately or Vegas uh, period and uh, re or visited uh, Planet 13, go ahead and list that in the uh, comments. Uh, whenever I go back to uh, Vegas, I want to visit Planet 13 for sure. Uh, I've showed other videos. I've showed the inside of the stores, and it's just a uh, beautiful store. It's huge, very good sized. Planet 13 shares closed Thursday market session 1.79% lower at $4.94 per share, and it missed that dip. So anything below $5, I think, is a definite buy on this one. But I don't give tax, legal, or trading advice. Just stating an opinion. Extreme bullish outlook on Planet 13, and where do I see most of the value? Five dollars looks risky, but it's stupid risk. It's a long-term hold, so I I would be.
comfortable anything below five so it's currently at five dollars and five cents low of 260 high of 867 favorite holding 54,000 long can't find a flaw yet OC ramping this should take off soon finally passed 7,000 watchers triples revenue Q2 to 32.8 million tweets and over here to uh, tip rings just a uh, one rating as a hold with a 9.73 percent upside to five dollars and 54 cents so not the greatest of ratings on this one probably because it's over the counter would be my uh, opinion but um again like i said if you have this one go ahead and list it in the comments along with your cost basis any other information that you want to uh, share and um any other favorite mj plays uh, you want me to take a look at i'd be happy to take a look at those at as well and if you haven't smashed that like button yet go ahead and hit that for me as well as subscribing and hit the bell so you're notified of when the next videos drop again this is j money following ford financial happy trading happy investing stay green cheers